Hey everybody, May is over and it blew my mind, okay? It went by so fast. I feel like everybody says this at the beginning of their monthly favorites or whatever, but it really did. I think I was like traveling a little bit more. Like we went on two big trips during the month um, and I feel like that kind of just like made it all fly by really fast. So I'm kind of sad about it. I love the month of May. It's my anniversary. The weather is perfect where you live in May, but you know, it's over and what do you do about it? I wanted to sit down and talk about just a couple products and things that I have been loving in the month of May. So if you are interested in the new things that I have been super, super into, then just keep watching and we are going to get right into it. For foundations, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation has been a go-to and every day like staple for me. I feel like this is the perfect foundation if you want just a very effortless, very natural look, or if you really want to build up coverage and make something look very flawless and very perfected, this kind of will do it all. And it wears really well throughout the day and has a beautiful finish. Um, so I've been loving this for a very long time now, but I just wanted to include it because I haven't really done a favorite. So I'm including a lot of my like all time favorites in this video. And this is one of them. Two more foundations that I've been loving. Um, another is this Benefit Hello Happy foundation. I just got this little sample guy um, and I really like this. This has more of a matte finish and it's a little bit more of like a medium coverage, which I think for every day is really perfect. I just don't feel the need to go in with a huge like mask of foundation every single day. So I feel like this gives me a very kind of natural velvety matte finish and it's not so so full coverage that it looks crazy by the end of the workday. So I've been really loving this one as well and I love that it comes in a mini. This was only $10 so if you're like wanting to try it out um, then you can go pick up a little mini and it's so cute and it works really well. The last thing that I have for foundations and this one is a little bit more new to me but it has been something that I've been reaching for quite a bit just because of the natural finish and the coverage on it and everything. This is the NYX Bear With Me Skin Tint. I think it's called Tinted Skin Veil, excuse me. All the names will be listed down below in case I accidentally forget how to say something or you know, that way you can find them down below. But this is great because it is a skin tint. I've been looking for so long for a skin tint that actually has a tint to it. Unlike a lot of skin tints, this one actually does give you somewhat of a nice coverage. It's better than like a lot of tinted moisturizers, especially from the drugstore where they end up leaving you with absolutely no tint at all. This does have some coverage. It has sort of a natural matte finish. I'm actually wearing it today. I have done some spot concealing and I have powdered over top, but you can see that it looks very, um, very perfect, honestly, which is surprising for a skin tint, but I've been really, really liking this. A couple other things I've been really loving. Um, I am super, super into cream products right now. So I've been loving um, these two cream products from Neutrogena. One is their hydrating stick foundation, but I've been using this to contour and I absolutely love that. And then their stick illuminator is amazing as well. It just leaves your skin looking very natural. It's perfect for days where you don't want to wear a lot of coverage, but you want some like shine to the face or you want a little bit of like sculpted appearance or just a little bit of warmth. Um, these work super well. They're very natural. They're easy to work with too, which I really like. Sometimes cream products can be a little bit intimidating, but these work super well. I have a whole video on how I use these, so I will link that down below if you want to see it because I've been absolutely loving them in the month of May and I really just think it's going to keep continuing into summer. I feel like cream products are just it. They're it and I love them. Another cream product that I really love is this Flower Beauty Blush Balm. Mine's in the shade Pinch. I really want to go grab some more of these because I think this is the most beautiful blush. It's a very easy... Mm -hmm. It's a very easy formula to work with as well. It's not like so pigmented that you're going to end up with like really big like clown cheeks. It blends out to look very skin-like and it's just incredible. Another thing that I absolutely love is this Physicians Formula, the Healthy Powder. Holy moly, this leaves your skin looking flawless with adding like a tiny bit of coverage but still leaving you radiant. Um, instead of using like a setting powder, I've been setting where I get creases and where my foundation kind of like has oil seeping through, so just the centers of my cheeks here and under my eyes all set with the translucent powder. But everywhere else I've kind of been setting with this and it looks so good. You really just need like a light dusting and it is 
it's really really pretty so if you've been looking for something to set your makeup without leaving you super dry or matte this is a wonderful option plus it's drugstore i mean and it's physician's formula it's great i have been wearing this so much this is the tarte sugar rush um it's like lip slip oil something in fresh pressed and this is the most beautiful little lip oil i'm not wearing it today actually but this is so so stunning and i absolutely love it so if you want something that's going to give your lips shine um, but feel really like actually hydrating and lightweight on the lips without having any shimmer or any really any pigment at all it just leaves your lips looking like wet and juicy this is the one this is the one for you oh and it also smells like childhood. Um, Kathleen Lights compared it to a push pop, which I think is pretty accurate. Accurate? It smells like, oh, it smells like something else that I know, but I can't think of what it is. So smell this and tell me what it smells like. Um, but this is absolutely wonderful. The applicator's a little weird because it doesn't pick up that much product. Um, mine's a little bit stained, so it looks like a lot, but there's really not a lot on there. Like at first that bothered me a little bit, but you really only need a light layer. So then it ended up being really nice because you're not overusing product or making your lips feel like too oily at all. <laughs> Just put it on. Ugh. It's just a different kind of shine. If you can see the difference, I just have it on the center there. It just looks, mmm. So good, smells so good, feels so good, love it. Okay, so a few weeks or maybe a few months ago, I did a little get to know me like question and answer video and it asked about like my favorite scents and I don't wear a ton of perfume. I just usually forget to put it on to be honest. I have a couple that I really like and I will link that video down below if you want to see what those are. But I had been trying out a couple different perfumes and I found one that I love now this is just a little sample but it is the victor and rolf flower bomb but it's the nectar one not just the original flower bomb a lot of people love that one um even more than this but i love the nectar flower bomb so much i just love this little sample and i'm gonna be so sad when this runs out i'm gonna have to go get another one but let me look up the notes for you key notes okay so on sephora it just has a couple notes on here and i don't actually know what any of these are Osmanthus, orange blossom, and then gunpowder. What? I don't understand what that's about, but it smells so good. It says, oh, top notes of bergamot oil, black currant bud. I love black currant. And then living gunpowder in quotation marks. Um, it gives you notes of mineral, smoky, metallic, ambery notes, bringing a fusing and vertical effect, whatever that means. Middle notes are orange flower, jasmine, sambac and osmanthus and then the base notes are tonka bean benzoin what vanilla and patchouli so i don't know what's making it so amazing but it smells so so good um and i've absolutely been loving that unfortunately i can't like show you what it smells like through youtube so just go get a sample of it because it's absolutely incredible and i cannot wait to buy it at some point but it's 120 dollars so <laughs> We'll see. We'll see when that happens. Okay, my last favorite is a little weird. It's a show and it's on Netflix. And honestly, honestly, I cannot tell if this is a child's show or an adult show. And it, this is probably embarrassing to admit, but we like absolutely love it. So the show we've been watching is called Ryla Kuma and Kaoru. And it is so good. So we went on a trip one time and we had a little layover in Japan and we became just obsessed with Japanese culture. We love just, I don't know, Tokyo is just the coolest place. Everything was so clean and so just cute. Like all the things that they love are just adorable. Plus we love the food and all that, but this is more about the, the culture. So then we went to this really massive like Japanese style arcade that's here where we live. And we won this little stuffed animal that was a Rylakuma thing. And we didn't know what that was at all, but we looked it up and apparently it started off as stationary. 
and it's just this little bear and I'll insert some like photos of it and everything but um, and it just sort of blew up like everyone loves it so they made like pencils and pencil pouches and folders and that kind of thing and now there's stuffed animals there's little outfits you can get um, there's all sorts of things that go around with it and now they have a show on Netflix and it's actually a it's like stop motion or whatever so they have they've completely made the set it's actually pretty incredible if you look up the video on YouTube of them shooting it um, it takes like a full day to shoot like 10 seconds and the the sets are just they're really elaborate and the characters are really just like elaborate as well and it's really cute so the episodes are only 10 minutes long because of the stop motion I think so it's really easy to like watch and get through you can watch it in English but we actually watch it in Japanese with the Japanese subtitles because the Japanese language to me I feel like just it gives it a full different like vibe um, it kind of puts you in to Japan more which I really like because we're obsessed with Japan it's kind of confusing because it's really cutesy and um, it's animated so you kind of feel like maybe it's like a kid show but the things that they deal with are real life like situations so it's actually fairly grown up too so it's kind of fun to watch like it's very light-hearted and easy to watch but there are some moments that are like heavy and you can really relate to because they're pretty like real life. We've been really enjoying watching that and it's so Riley Kuma is basically like a big giant stuffed animal bear and then there's another little bear I can't remember that bear's name and then there's like a little chicken and they live in an apartment in I'm pretty sure they're in Japan with another lady and that's um Kalru. Basically Kalru's going through all these situations at work where you know people are leaving her out or um, she feels really lonely that kind of thing so she's going through all these just really relatable life experiences and the bears just are kind of like living with her and like out in society and it's just like normal for everyone for some reason which is super funny um, but it's really cute because in the end they always have like a really sweet kind of lesson to go along with it and it's just really like it's easy to watch and it's entertaining it's light-hearted it's really fun and like I would say wholesome like the perfect word for this show is it's very wholesome so if you want something just kind of like easy to watch then definitely check that out it's so so cute that is it for me and all of my favorites for the month of May hopefully you enjoyed I love filming these kinds of videos because it just gets me really excited about the things that I'm already excited about let me know if you've had any favorites for the month I'd love to hear those so that I can try out some new things thank you so so much for watching I hope you had a great month of May and you have a wonderful summer and I will see you next time bye